hey guys you are welcome to my youtube channel so this is a reversible bucket hat meaning you can rock both sides you can wear both sides like you're not restricted to just wearing one side of the hat and in today's video i am going to show you how to cut and sew your bucket hat so your reversible bucket hat so if this is something you would want to watch then keep watching and do not touch the dial <laughs> These are the high terms you would need for sewing the reversible bucket hat so you would need two different fabrics of your choice you can play with any fabrics be it um, your jeans material or your cloth material then also you would need your paper be it your pattern paper or an a4 paper any paper at all just to draft before you transfer to the fabric then you would need your st this is because especially if you're using um a light fabric this is to make it firmer you get to make your bucket hat firmer so as you can see my ankara is a light fabric so that's why i am using the st as well so your emi gum is optional you can use it if you have it no problem next you would need to measure your head circumference like what this like what you're seeing on the picture so the number you got from your head circumference is what we will use to cut out or draft out the three parts of the bucket hat which are the top the middle part and the flare part so for me the head circumference i got was 18.5 inches so i'll be using this 18.5 inches during the course of this video as the head as my head circumference so i am going to write down formulas you will need in cutting the three parts of the bucket hat so we all know the bucket hat has three parts and we're going to name those three parts as a b and c so for cutting out the a part which is the circle at the top you will need to divide your head circumference by 6.28 that is your head circumference divided by 6.28 so since my head circumference is 18.5 i am going to divide it by 6.28 so we're going to need your calculator right now so 18.5 divided by 6.28 gives us 2.9 inches 2.9 inches so you impute your head circumference on that head circumference and divide it by 6.28 so let's recap so to get this part of the bucket at the top part you divide the head circumference by 6.28 so we're going to go right away and you know um, draft it out on our paper so what you will do you get a piece of paper and then you will fold it into two like this as you are seeing me folding it then you would have to fold it again like this so what you have now you have four parts in the piece of paper right so you're going to go right away and take your tape and place it like so so remember for my head circumference after dividing by um, 6.28 i got 2.9 inches right so i'm going to mark out that 2.9 inches like this all round as you can see so i'm going to just keep marking the 2.9 inches i got for the head uh, for the part a for cutting out part a i'm going to mark it all round like this so i'm marking out the 2.9 inches all round as you can see me doing right now so hold up at this point you will add 0 0.25 inch allowance for sewing as you can see on the picture but because i'm sewing for a baby toddler i want it to be tight around the edge so it's not easily put off so add 0 0.25 inch allowance for sewing before you go ahead to cut so you're going to go right ahead and cut after adding your 0 0.25 sewing allowance yes 
0.25 inch for sewing allowance so after cutting you can see we open it up and you can see we have gotten the circle which we are going to label a we are going to write it a because this is part a this is the a part so after writing it a you would want to skip this aside so we'd go ahead and draft out b so for drafting out b which is this part that i am drawing out so the formula you would need in drafting or cutting out um, the b um, part is add circumference divided by two so remember my head circumference is 18.5 you will impute your own head circumference here divided by two so we're going to need the calculator now as well so 18.5 divided by two gives us 9.25 so we're going to use this 9.25 inches to draft out our b part so let's do a quick recap to get the middle part of the bucket at which is b you divide your head circumference by two so you go right away and get a long piece of paper which you're going to use in drafting out the um, b part so since we have 9.2 inch from our calculation we're going to you know mark out the 9.25 inch so this is where my 9.25 inch is and i am going to mark it out like so as you can see so after marking it out the next thing is you would want to add half an inch allowance on this side for sewing so you add half an inch allowance on this side for sewing that is 0 0.5 inch allowance so after that the width of the b part of the bucket hat is three inches that is um the b part of the bucket hat is three inches wide like this from here to here is three inches wide yes so what we'll do next is we're going to add one inch for sewing allowance to that three inches so we're going to mark out which make it four one inch plus three inches make it four so we're going to mark out the four inches like so as you can see me doing right now so the width is actually three inches but we added one inch for sewing allowance so we're going to mark out the four like this you go ahead and do that so we'll stop at this point so next you're going to take your scissors and cut it out so you're going to cut out like so so we have our b part ready so this is our part b we have it ready so i'm going to label this b so the b part is ready like so so i'm going to label it b so next we're going to draft out c which is the last part of the bucket art and that is the flare part so we're going to label this c so in cutting out c the formula you need is your Earth circumference divided by 3.14. Your earth circumference divided by 3.14. That is how you get your C. So my earth circumference is 18.5 divided by 3.14. So you would need your calculator now. So 18.5 divided by 3.14 gives us 5.89. So approximately have 5.9 inches so that is 5.9 so we're going to use this 5.9 to draft out the c part yeah so um let's do a quick recap so to get this flare part of the bucket at which is the part c you divide your head circumference by 3.14 so we'll go next and get a long piece of paper and we'll look for a sharp edge on the piece of paper as you can see i've used this a pattern paper before so this is the only ch um, sharp edge i have here the rest are either curvy and all of that so um this is the only sharp point i have sharp 
edge that i have on this um, piece of paper so you're going to go ahead and place your tape like so so remember i got 5.9 from the calculation i did earlier on for the part c so i'm going to use that point five uh, uh, five point nine and circle round like so as you can see me doing so i'm going to circle around like this five point nine so when you divide yours whatever figure you get after dividing by um three point one four whatever figure you get um you you know you use it to circle around like this so for me i got 5.9 so i am circling that 5.9 i'm marking the 5.9 round like this as you can see so you can see this method is very easy this method gives you accurate um results it gives you accurate fabrics that you know would not give you any form of mistakes or whatever it is it's going to be so so on point so so for the how wide the C will be, it's three inches. That is how wide the C is, three inches. Same thing with the B part is also three inches. So we're going to mark out the three inches. That is for the wideness of the C, the wideness of the flare, the width of the flare is three inches. So we're going to mark out that three inches like so, as you can see right now. So there's no two ways about it. It's very easy. Just memorize these formulas or you write them down somewhere. Whenever you want to make a bucket hat for any head circumference at all, you go ahead and use these formulas and you get a perfect, perfect bucket hat. Yes. So we're going to circle around like this. You can see a piece of paper is missing here, but I would, you know, replace that so we're going to add half an inch on both ends for sewing allowance so you're going to add half an inch here as you can see we're going to add half an inch here so let me use the blue shock so you'd understand better so this half an inch is for sewing allowance yeah So I'm going to mark it all round. So you will do the same when you're drafting your C part as well. But if you do not want to add half an inch on this down part, is okay as well. But you must add an half an inch on the top part you get. <laughs> so we'll go right away and add half an inch on this top part so as i earlier stated if you wish not to add half an inch on the um, down part for sewing allowance probably you don't want your flare to be that uh, um, wide a bit long so no problem no issue if you don't want it that wide no issue you can leave the half an inch on the down part but make sure you put this half an inch sewing allowance on the top part just the way i am doing so for me i want the half an inch on both side of the c part of the curve yeah so i'm going to go right away and use the scissors to cut this out like this and I will also cut this other part out like so. So this is what we have and we are going to label this C. So this is the C part. This is the C part. So we have the A part the b part and the c part so these are the three parts of the bucket hat so we're going to use this to cut um the fabric we're going to place it on the fabric and use it to cut out the fabric so for the a part you're going to fold your fabric get a piece of fabric and fold it like so the way we did for the circle you fold it into two and fold it again and you can see we have four parts as well so you're going to place your circle two like so and then you're going to cut open. It's very easy. We're going to cut it open. So this part 
of the a side the circle is ready for our bucket art so i'm just marking the wrong side of the fabric so i don't make a mistake when sewing and all of that so the next thing is you're going to look for for the b part you're going to look for a long fabric and fold into two like so you're going to fold it into two like this so you're going to place the side of the b pattern that has no allowance on this side that has no opening as you can see you're going to place it like so and then you're going to place it properly please and then you're going to use your scissors to cut so remember your fabric you look for a long fabric and you fold into two then you place the side without the allowance on the um, part without opening you understand so we're just going to cut right away please just watch the way i am cutting the way i am doing it so we're going to just go ahead and cut right away like so so we're going to cut 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 yeah So the B part of this fabric is ready as you can see the B part of the fabric is ready of this fabric so I'm also marking the wrong side because you can see both sides the wrong side and the right side of the fabrics look alike so I just have to indicate the wrong side using the chalk so this is the B part which is ready for this fabric so the next is the C part and you're going to get a bigger fabric and you're going to fold into two as well like this you're going to fold into two as well like so and then you're going to get your pattern paper for the c and place it like this make sure one side of the pattern paper is facing is on a line on this side without no opening on the fabric yes then you cut so please watch the way i am cutting it right now please pay close attention So we're going to cut, 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 cut. You can use your office pin to pin to avoid the shaking of the uh, pattern paper and uh -huh, to make sure you cut it accurately. So you just use your office pin to pin the pattern paper on the fabric so it does not shift. You get so the pattern paper does not start shifting the way it's shifting for mine. <laughs> so we're just going to cut. So you can see the way i am cutting it you can see that i made up for that part that was uh, hem out that was not there for on the pattern paper so you can see i made up for it on the fabric so that's what i was trying to explain earlier on so the part c is ready now for this fabric the part c is ready for this fabric yeah so so next you're going to cut out the same part on the other fabrics we're going to cut out the a the b and the c on the other fabric so i'm going to go right away and cut out the a the b and the c on the other fabric as well so i'm going to set this aside so as you can see this is the b let me just show you this the b this is the a yeah for this fabric so this is it so I'm going to do the same thing on the other fabric as well. I'm going to do the same thing on the other fabric. So once I cut it out, I'll get to show you guys once I cut it out. So guys, this is it. You can see this is for the, um, um, the two fabrics and the pattern. Part. So... The next thing is you're going to add a stay or paper stay or lightest gum stay to the wrong side of the fabrics. Yes, both fabrics to the wrong side of both fabrics. So as you can see, I have ironed my paper stay on it. So this is just to make it firmer. 
so i have ironed it so if you have just one light fabric and one thick fabric iron to only the light fabric but since i have both light fabric i have to iron to both light fabrics yeah so this is it guys so you can actually go without putting paper stay but your bucket hat won't be that firm so for a firmer one you you know iron your paper stay or gum stay and all of that so the next step is to attach this b part to this a part and in doing that as a beginner you can just you know go ahead and create a little notch so that you know where to start from so you're going to place your b part like this make sure you're leaving half an inch on this side you leave half an inch on this side and make sure that the right side of your b part is facing the right side of the a part so we're going to sew it all round like this till we get to the other point so as you can see i have sewed it all round and you can see the parts left as you can see so i have sewed it and i used half an inch for the sewing so next you would want to um notch like this make sure when you are notching it doesn't get to where you sew um where you run your stitch yeah so you're going to open like this the reason for notching like this creating this little um opening is so that your cap will relaxed where you sewed it where you run run the stitch would you know relaxed mm -hmm, and all of that so i'm going to do that all right and after i am done the next step is i'm going to sew this c part to the hat so I'm in attaching the c part to the hat also make sure your right side of the c part is facing the right side of the b part so in attaching it i'm going to you know attach it all round and i'm going to make sure i leave half an inch on the b part so i will explain later you see better later so you can see i have um attached it and i'm also creating the notch just to make sure the where yeah, i stitched it around the stitch would relax uh, properly so this is it guys so that it won't be that stiff yeah so this won't be that stiff it will relax so you can see i left half an inch on the b part that was where i started sewing the c part from so that was what i was trying to explain earlier on so you can see the width of the b part is three inches as you can see the width of the b part is three inches and same goes to the width of the c part that is the wideness so the next step is i am going to you know close up um the opening this two parts i'm going to close it up like so and then i would also you know run a little stitch on the top close up the top so once I'm, i have done that i'll come back and show you guys so as you can see i have closed up the opening and i ironed as well so you iron to avoid this part being bulky so you can see i have done the same thing i did the same thing on the other fabric as well so the next thing you would want to do is you bring out this fabric one of your fabric bring out the front pattern of the fabric then place it like so meaning your front side of this fabric should be facing your front side of the other fabric so you're going to put it like so and then you're going to make sure this line where you joined is also going to be facing this line where you joined it's going to be lying on it you get so we're going to sew all around you can use your office pin to hold it then you know you sew with either your needle or thread or with your machine so i'm going to go ahead and run the stitch through it and then you leave four inches for you to turn it open you leave four inches here for turning over so this is it i have run the stitch through it as you can see so i've run the stitch around it using five point uh, sorry 0 0.5 inches yes 0 0.5 inches let me show you let me measure it out. so you can see 0 0.5 inch 0 0.5 inch that's what i used all through 0 0.5 inch and same year 0 0.5 inch for the sewing allowance as you can see so what we'll do next is we are going to you know um um turn it over but before then let's also run a notch through it like this you notch it round too to make the stitch relaxed to make that place relaxed so now that i am done the next thing is i am going to turn it over like this 
So your bucket hat is almost ready. The next thing you would want to do is you would, this opening that you have at this side, as you can see, you fold it in like this and fold it in like this. And then you run a stitch at the edge. You run a stitch at the edge to close it up. So if you have your aiming gum, you can just go ahead and cut out four cm, uh, sorry, four inches on your from your aiming gum, and you place it like so. After folding both sides of the fabrics in, you that is you fold it like so, and then you go ahead and iron. You go ahead and iron. So it also gives it, gives it a more neater look. So as you can see, I have closed my opening. I've closed it. So the next thing you would do, you would want to run a stitch. Your um, bucket hat is already ready like this. But for a more professional look, it's best you run a stitch through the flare and through the top. So as you can see, I have run a stitch through it. And let me turn to the other side so you'd see the stitch. So I just run a four line stitch circle, leaving 0 0.5 inch in between each. So you can run a stitch till you get to the end of the flare so your bucket hat is ready so you can see the beautiful bucket hat we have right here so if you've watched to the extent of this video and you are yet to hit the subscribe button what are you waiting for be a part of this amazing family and hit the subscribe button like and share so i'll see you on my next video love ya mine and make sure you practice making your bucket hat because you know practice makes perfect <laughs>